Carthage Watertown, WWNY TV 7. This is News Site with Emily Puchin. Good evening, everyone. Our top story tonight, welcome to the busiest retail days of the year. There are just six shopping days left until Christmas, and merchants say business is booming. As News Site's Christine Moyer reports, a lot of that business is on big-ticket items. This is one of the best seasons we ever had here in the mall. Our sales are well above expectations. The price tag on gift giving is no bargain this Christmas. Shoppers are spending more than ever, and the items they're buying won't likely be found in anyone's stocking. Televisions, VCRs, and computers are uh, above, well above expectations we have uh, in the 70% increases over last year. A lot of the big items, Nintendo games, VCRs, and, and also in our toy department, too, the Fisher Price items, the big items the Fisher Price are buying. There has been a pickup in the large scale trains this year due, uh, due to, I believe, Lionel's advertising program. Mm -hmm. It seems the spirit of giving is hitting the pocketbooks hard, and consumers are going to the limit all for the sake of commercialism. We're spending more, uh, finding that, uh, well, just like the economy, things are a lot more expensive, and that's to be expected. Uh, but the toys seem to be a lot, uh, the quality is a lot better than it was in the past. My kids are getting bigger, so the items get bigger. <laughs> it's easier to shop for little kids. They have more things for them. This season, spending doesn't seem to be an issue for North Country shoppers. They fall right in line with the national average. One survey says we'll spend $37 billion before it's all over. At Salmon Run Mall, Christine Moyer, New Site 7. It was a day of mourning, prayer, and remembrance in Messina today. Mayor Charles Boots declared it Armenian Memorial Day in memory of the thousands of Armenians who lost their lives in this month's earthquake. Messina has a sizable Armenian-American population. The future of the Adirondack Railroad remains unclear, at least until the public gets a chance to have a say. The line hasn't operated since the 1980 Olympics, and an attempt by private entrepreneurs to buy the lease was stymied when they were outbid by the state in a November auction. Last week, legislators, including Senator John McHugh, came away from a meeting satisfied those entrepreneurs will be heard before the line's fate is sealed. McHugh says both the Transportation and Environmental Conservation Departments favor varied uses for the right-of-way. Such things as hiking trails and snowmobile trails and some portions that run through wilderness areas may not be utilized at all. So uh, uh, we're going to try to uh, put the uh, Department of Transportation and the Department of Environmental Conservation together with some of the private entrepreneurs that are interested in operating as a private line so at least that, that very important proposal have a full consideration. The state outbid private interest by $5,000 to buy the lease for $210,000. Money that McHugh says came from the Environmental Quality Bond Act and remnants of an earlier transportation bond issue. On another issue, Senator McHugh says the state's libraries apparently won't be saddled with expensive mandates that could have put some out of business. Fresh from a meeting with the Regents Review Committee last week, McHugh says about half of a list of 10 proposals were eliminated. They were deemed detrimental to some library operations. Among the controversial options had been requirement for a master's degree for chief librarians, minimum operating hours, and specialized equipment purchases. The committee's recommendations now go to the full Board of Regents for action. There is more news ahead on Weekend News Site right after this. Throughout the year, Kitty Drug serves you and we feel gratified with this pleasure. At this time of peace on earth and goodwill, Kitty Drugs wishes you all the happiest of holidays and that you and your families enjoy this time of the year reflecting on the good things in your life. Your local Kinney Drug staff and management wishes you the most joyous season's greetings. Do you have an octopus in your cellar? If you do, it's time you replace it with a new Century gas or oil furnace distributed by High Plumbing Supply, both Watertown and Messina.
Century furnaces are available in standard sizes and they carry a 10-year heat exchanger warranty. Century also has a super quiet, energy efficient gas furnace that vents with PVC plastic pipe. So enjoy the comforts of a new gas or oil furnace distributed by Hyde Plumbing Supply. Call your heating contractor today and ask for a Century furnace, the octopus alternative. Notify ICU, we're on our way. This is one of the few places where drugs belong on the job. In anesthesia, they serve a useful purpose. Each year, too many people end up here because of drug-related accidents in the workplace. And using cocaine or popping pills creates a dangerous combination with anesthesia. I know. I'm a nurse anesthetist. Anesthesia doesn't work with street drugs. Remember, drugs don't work on the job. The St. Lawrence Seaway begins its seasonal closing process in less than one hour. Midnight tonight marks what's called the Seaway's clearance date. That's when ships must report to the Seaway Traffic Control Center to make final passage through the Montreal Lake Ontario section. The Seaway Authority says vessel demand, weather and ice conditions will dictate the final closing date of the 1988 shipping season. There was a protest in Kingston this afternoon over conditions at the prison for women. Concerned citizens held a vigil outside the facility to call for a public inquiry into violence there. The most recent case involved 30-year-old Marlene Moore, who hanged herself in the prison hospital December 3rd. She had been serving a five-year sentence for armed robbery and assault. Just prior to her death, there were two stabbings and two attempted suicides at the prison. Well, it looks like the free trade bill could make its way through Canada's parliament by Christmas. Debate on the pact got underway late last week, and to accommodate demands for a full debate, the government has agreed to extend hours of sitting. That means debate can go late into the night from Monday to Thursday. After Parliament's discussion, the bill heads to Canada's Senate, but unlike before the election, the Liberal-dominated Upper House is not expected to hold up the bill. Snowtown USA wants to be the designated winter festival for New York State in 1990. If that happens, the Watertown winter attraction will receive state support and promotion. But in the meantime, Snowtown's executive director says he'll use the year ahead to try and attract more interest in the festival. Snowtown hopes to be out of the red this season and bring in more tourists from outside the area. Last year, Snowtown drew more than 40,000 people to our community. Well, they didn't have any trouble drawing in people to today's Giants game. Kyle Kraska will have our sports report next. Since 1971, Modern Day College in Ogdensburg, New York, has offered a two-year program that culminates in an Associates in Arts degree in Social Services paraprofessional. Upon completion of the two-year program, Modern Day graduates are qualified to start a career at rehabilitative, geriatric, child care, correctional, or mental health agencies. Modern Day's program also prepares the student who wants to transfer to a four-year program in social work. If this kind of rewarding career interests you, call Modern Day College at 393-5930. Dining elegance has finally come to northern New York in the beautifully remodeled Hampton Train Depot at Sackett's Harbor. Focused on the desire to be the best, Hampton Depot features delicious sunset dinner specials Monday through Thursday from 5 to 6 p.m. and is ready to cater private and corporate parties. Enjoy the spectacular view year-round while delighting in excellent cuisine complemented by the perfect choice of wines. Comfortable, affordable elegance awaits you at Hampton Depot, Sackett's Harbor. If you're looking for new eyewear, contact lenses, or hearing instrument, you should be looking for Meet Opticians. At Meet Opticians, you'll always find the newest and the best. And of course, there's a Meet Optician ready to offer professional guidance in making your selection. For an appointment for an eye examination, just call us. We're Meet Opticians, 161 Clinton Street, Watertown, Carthage and Fort Drum. Look for us to bring you the newest and the best. In the world of sports, the New York Giants will be home for the holidays. Today, the Giants lost to the Jets and Philadelphia won, so the Eagles are the division champions. Meanwhile, tonight, the Rams defeated San Francisco, crushing the Giants' hopes for a wild-card berth. Kyle Kraska has the highlights from today's games. 
The Jets led it 3 0 late in the first when Kenny O'Brien found his slot back, Mickey Schuler from five yards out, and the home team led it 10 zip after one. They would go on top by 13 before the Giants could score. Phil Sims from the shotgun connected with Stephen Baker on a five yard touchdown pass. It came with just seconds to go in the second quarter, and at the break, the Jets led it by six, 13 to seven. Early in the second half, the Jets stalled on their initial drive and had to punt. But Phil McConkey fumbled, and the Jets recovered on the Giants' seven-yard line. From there, Freeman McNeil on first down barreled his way through the right side for the score, and the Jets led it 20-7 late in the third period. The Giants cut the deficit to six. Then with five minutes to play, Sims teamed up with Lionel Manuel for a nine-yard touchdown reception to take a 21-20 lead, but they would go on to lose 27-21. That opened the door for Philadelphia. They needed a win to capture the East crown. Herschel Walker put Dallas on top 7-0 early on a one-yard run, but Randall Cunningham rallied the Eagles back, hitting his favorite target, rookie Keith Jackson. The 12-yard TD even things up at seven. Then Cunningham struck again, this time to Mike Quick. They went on to win it 23-7. That's it. Kyle Kraska, New Sight Sports. The Boston Celtics snapped New York's six-game winning streak tonight with a 117-104 victory over the Knicks. Robert Parrish hit his first nine shots for the Celtics. The Knicks were led by Patrick Ewing with 32 points. And Ben Johnson may have lost his Olympic gold medal, but he has captured the attention of news hounds in Canada. Johnson has been voted Canada's top newsmaker of 1988. News directors, magazine, and newspaper editors overwhelmingly cast their ballots in favor of the fastest man on earth. That is a check on sports. We have tonight's lottery numbers. Then we'll be back with the weather forecast after this. has always been a welcome and traditional Christmas gift, and there's none finer than the line of Schwinn available at the bike shop, not only for the kids, but for the whole family. Come in and see the Schwinn exercise bikes, rowing machines, and a whole line of accessories you can use as stocking stuffers. The bike shop will be happy to lay away your purchases and hold them for Christmas pickup. You can count on quality service, too. From the locally owned bike shop, 132 Court Street, Watertown, they're open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and Saturday, 9 to 5. Yeah, I'm just finishing up here. Work today was good. I got those timetables. Accidental poisonings. Over 1.8 million each year. Play it safe. Never leave household products within a child's reach. They don't know the difference. A public service message from the National Association of Pediatric Nurse Associates and Practitioners. Get ready for some warmer temperatures in the North Country. The new site weather forecast calls for mostly cloudy skies with some snow tonight. One to three inches of accumulation is expected. Low temperatures 10 to 15 degrees. Then on Monday, a bit warmer. Temperatures expected to hit about 30 degrees with some sunny intervals throughout the day. Monday night, mostly cloudy. Lows 25 to 30 degrees. And the extended news site forecast calls for mostly cloudy skies Tuesday with temperatures soaring all the way up to about 40 degrees. For this Sunday, December 18th, that is the news site late report. I'm Emily Fuchsia. Good night. A cozy welcome to the North Country's newest and most complete bedding store, the new Master Bedroom in Fay Stateway Plaza. The new Master Bedroom has everything you'll ever need for your bedroom, like mattresses and box springs by Spring Air and Serta, starting at just $49.95, each piece and sets. Convertible couch beds and complete water beds starting as low as $148. The new Master Bedroom also has the greatest selection of solid pine and oak bedroom furniture in the North Country. Shop the new Master Bedroom, Fay's Stateway Plaza, Watertown.